You would think it's Monday, but thank God it's not. It's Thursday, and the reason we're doing cookies on Thursday is because lovely state of Texas is not prepared for any cold weather. We got a little bit of ice, we got a little bit of snow on top of it, and all hell broke loose. All right, here we go. What week are we on, babe? 16. Week 16, which is just arbitrary from when I started reviewing, but week 16 of Crumble Cookies. Okay, so let me pan you. So we'll start with the snickerdoodle. Then that was like the Reese. Why am I not getting such a good view? That was like the Reese cup one. That looks delicious. And that looks delicious. Okay. Cookie four. There it is. Snickerdoodle. Looks good. This one's a little lighter um, than the one. Jeez, oh man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I think it's a little lighter, but whatever. I prefer that. Underbaked, hopefully. Yeah, it's a thick boy. Okay. Cookie number one, snickerdoodle. It's a soft cookie, which is cool. I love a good soft cookie. I would almost prefer a little more underbaked, to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to shit on this cookie because it's good, but it's just, it's so dang average. So it's going to get a five out of 10. And I would prefer, I would prefer a chocolate chip over that. So I actually have to lower it. Um, I'm going to lower this one. But I'm not going to lower it too much. Like it doesn't, it's not too much worse because it has a little bit more of an aftertaste. So we're going to go with a 4.8. I don't know what I gave it last time. Probably a six. 4.5. I gave it a 4.5 last time. All right. Hey, <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't look at the ratings. Okay, you schmucks. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I insulted you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Um, look at that. That's a really, that's a thick cookie. See, it's got that undercooked layer there underneath. Oh yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, Reese cup cookie number three. I'm very excited for this. Oh, geez. I'm losing it. Okay, there we go. We're back. Aha. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. Oh, shit. Chocolate, peanut butter, layered in there. It's just, you get chocolate, you get peanut butter. Then you get more peanut butter, then you get more chocolate. Then you get peanut butter. Oh, man. I love it. So cookies like the same way. If I can't hold that cookie, it like a, a cookie I can't hold and bite into is like a couch with a shitload of pillows on it. I hate it. Get it away from me. I'm going, man, this is tough. I had my finger over 8.5. I couldn't do it though. It's, it's not quite 8.5, 8.2, um, which is the bomb. I mean, that's a, for a non-frosted cookie, that might be as good as it gets. What'd I give it last time? I gave it eight last time. Hoo hoo! Okay. Ah -ha! I'm still in the I'm still in the ballpark. New Mario game came out. I didn't buy it yet, but I'm I'm kind of feeling it. So well, it's cool. Um okay, here's cookie number two. Oh wow. That looks crazy underbaked. Um woo, baby. Look at that. Like it's like the icing is kind of melted down into the into the underbaked layer there. Um it looks like there's some jelly there actually can you see that i think you can see i can you see it i can see it can i see it who can see it i'm really excited to bite this one because this sucker is either stuffed or undercooked or some combination of the two. Oh, haha -ha. almost botched it almost forgot to show the cookie you all would have loved that wouldn't you oh, interesting flavor um unique flavor from the cookies that i've had so far White chocolate and jelly. What the hell would have white chocolate? I don't know if it's jelly, though, because I don't see any. Like, it might be in my mind now. I might have boned myself. I don't really see any. I'm going to take another bite. I'm going to take another bite from what may or may not be jelly on this side, and, and then we'll see. Let's see if we can give, give some more details. Oh. 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 Yep. Jelly. We got jelly. This one... What, this one's kind of easy in my mind, um, as I say, as I review, as I as I learn to speak English, um, <laughs> as I re revise the rating before I show it to you. A seven point nine out of ten, good cookie. So let's see, cookie number two. If, ah, I knew it was so familiar, dude. It tasted just like a strawberry pop tart. Son of a bitch, <laughs> dude. They nailed it. Oh, yeah, Rick. Do you need glasses, dude? Do we got to get you to the, uh, I almost said orthodontist, the optometrist. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's a pink cookie. This might be strawberry shortcake. 
Oh, if this is Strawberry Shortcake, Rick, I'm going to give you $5. I'll Venmo you 5 right after this. We'll see. Um, okay, so look. Pink cookie. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you can't see stuff. Sorry, man. Pink cookie. Uh, looks like a cream cheese frosting on top. And little possibly strawberry shortcake bits on top. Um, Rick, I might owe you $5. We'll see. Oh, cream cheese frosting, cream cheese frosting, um, I think it's strawberry, I suck with fruit flavors, like, for some reason I cannot identify fruit flavors, I think it's strawberry, I think it's a cream cheese frosting, I think you're goddamn right, I think it's a strawberry shortcake cookie, but holy smokes, that was good, oh yeah, that was very good, um, okay, Cookie number one gets a solid 9 out of 10. Then we went to an 8.2. Then we went to a 7.8.2 8 on the Reese Cup. A 7.9 on the... I already forget. No. Oh. Oops. I just looked at the wrong one. <laughs> well, surprise. It's pink velvet. Is this a fucking joke? Like pink velvet? Dude, it should have been strawberry shortcake. Rick would have won $5. How are you just going to call a cookie pink velvet and it's got frosting and crumbles on top? That is a mondo debate. Oh, I almost forgot the creme de la Sven. Shit balls. Oh, man. Okay. Creme de la Sven. Wow, creme de la Sven looks interesting because the two kind of merge on the top. And we call this the creme de la Sven. And that means there is only one thing I can say to you. And that is cheese, motherfucker. Work it. Let me work it. Flip it. Reverse it. Oh, man. I mean, it's not been a bad creme de la spin, but it's kind of been a little bit disappointing. I honestly thought that had potential to get like a nine or above. I thought those flavors were going to mix really well together. I don't kind of, I kind of don't know what happened. That was like a blur. I kind of like blacked out for that creme de la spin and kind of came to after it was all gone. Um, Strawberry Pop-Tart needs a higher rating than 7.9. I think that should break into the 8s. I think Strawberry Pop-Tart should break into the 8s. The, the more I think about it, it's a disservice. It's a disservice to give the Strawberry Pop-Tart. Holy shit moly. What is happening? Dude, what is happening? There we go. 8.1. <laughs> 8 and I need to rate the Creme de la Sven. I'm kind of stalling here because uh, I'm a little bit at a loss. Like Again, the Creme de la Sven, man, that's always a very difficult one to rate. I'm going to give it a 6.5. I don't enjoy the Colonel. I enjoy nothing about Colonel Sanders. I think he's a real scumbag. And I would really like him to get some some uh, chicken sandwiches down here. As always, I, I seriously do appreciate everyone kind of hanging out with me. It's great to, to talk to everybody, participate in the chat, have a good time. We'll have a great time. So goodbye, everybody. I love you.